The battle for AI supremacy is here. GPT-4 versus Cloud-2. Only one bot can claim the crown. I'll break down round by round which assistant reigns supreme across 10 key categories. Will GPT-4 defend its title, or will Cloud-2 gain the belt in a shock upset? Get your front row seat for the fight of the century between these artificial intelligence titans. Starting off, one of the biggest advantages of Cloud-2 is that it's completely free to use. Unlike GPT-4, which requires a $20 per month subscription for access to the Plus version with advanced features. This makes Cloud2's powerful capabilities accessible to everyone, not just those who can pay. In terms of availability, Cloud2 is currently only available in the US and UK. Users in other countries need a VPN to access it. A major area where Cloud2 shines is its ability to intake files, including PDFs, Excel sheets, and text documents. You can upload a file directly to Cloud2 and ask it to summarize extract key points, or otherwise work with the text. Cloud2 can handle a massive 75,000 words from files, compared to GPT-4's limit of only 2,400 words. I tested uploading a long 110-page book to Cloud2, and it flawlessly summarized the key plot points and lessons when asked. The same book overwhelmed GPT-4. So if you need to work with lengthy documents or text passages, Cloud2 has a clear advantage. However, GPT-4 may still be sufficient for shorter excerpt analysis. Related to file uploads, another strength of Cloud2 is its ability to ingest multiple files at once. You can upload up to five files simultaneously and ask Cloud2 to compare them side by side for you. For example, in an academic or professional context, you could feed Cloud2 five research papers and ask it to summarize the key differences between their findings. GPT-4 does not have any multi-file analysis capability, so you would have to summarize each document separately, then try to manually compare them. Definitely an area where Cloud2 vastly outpaces its rival. Both AI assistants are able to maintain context in an ongoing conversation, but Cloud2 again has superior memory capabilities. Cloud2 can remember up to 75,000 words of prior conversation. This allows for incredibly deep and complex dialogue. You could discuss a book, academic topic, or business case over thousands of words and Cloud2 would stay fully on track. Meanwhile, GPT-4 caps out at just 2,500 words of conversation memory. While impressive, this pales in comparison to Cloud2's 30x larger capacity. Long evolving conversations will flourish with Cloud2. When it comes to creative applications like writing stories or songs, or logical reasoning like solving math problems, GPT-4 seems to have a slight edge currently. In third-party benchmarking tests that assess creativity and critical thinking, GPT-4 scored a bit higher than Cloud-2. And anecdotally, many users report GPT-4 seems more advanced at tasks like composing poetry and music, or solving complex math and logic puzzles. However, both models are impressive in these areas, so it likely comes down to personal experience. I'd recommend trying both on your specific creative use cases to see which one produces better results. For generating text quickly, Cloud2 seems faster than GPT-4. Independent speed tests clocked Cloud2 producing around 100 characters per second, compared to 70-75 for GPT-4. So if you need rapid fire text generation for things like live subtitling or real-time dialogue, Cloud2 may have the edge in speed, though both are blazingly fast versus a human. One clear advantage of the newer Cloud2 is that it contains up-to-date knowledge through 2022 and 2023, including things like the Ukraine war, the Qatar World Cup, Elon Musk's Twitter takeover, and more. Meanwhile, GPT-4's knowledge cuts off in 2021, so ask it about any recent current events, and it will be oblivious. GPT-4 provides more data privacy controls than Cloud2. In GPT-4's settings, you can toggle on a Do Not Store My Data mode that prevents it from saving your chat sessions to improve its training. With Cloud2, all conversations are automatically logged and used by Anthropic to train and enhance the model. There are no options to limit data collection. So if you want full privacy, GPT-4 is preferable. 
though Cloud2's training practices are still ethical under current AI standards. For writing and working with computer code, Cloud2 again appears superior, thanks to its higher score on the Human Eval Programming Benchmark Test. Cloud2 scored 71.2% accuracy compared to 67% for GPT-4 when generating code for things like sorting algorithms and data parsing challenges. And Cloud2's higher word count limit means it can intake very long source code, then modify and add to it easily. GPT-4 chokes on anything longer than a few thousand characters. So Cloud2 seems the clear winner for programming use cases like code generation, documentation, debugging help, and more.